you what you ask. Thank you. My love, she waits for me in Folkwanger. Now I can ask her to spend eternity with me. How can I repay you? Tell us what you know of that day. A battle. Thor and this woman with fair hair. They tore through the town. The rage between them was terrifying. Thor was enraged. I'm not surprised. No. The warrior. She was furious and fought like it. Thor was drunk, slow. But she was drunk on something else. Rage. It was out of control. I saw her fury with every swing of her axe. Their battle destroyed this land. These stories, I have known Faye's anger, but never to this extent. We hide the parts we're ashamed of, brother. Hmm. I must have hated Thor for what he did to the Giants. Maybe that's why she did what she did. She took part in the destruction of this valley. That would take a rage I thought her incapable of. Perhaps you and Faye had more in common than you thought. We both had secrets. But that kind of anger... I never saw Faye in that light. Even the brightest among us carry darkness, brother.
got the sense Vanaheim wasn't supposed to be so humid. Was that the effect of Fimble Winter there? To a great extent, it seems. So Midgard had endless night and cold. Svartalfheim had earthquakes. Alfheim had the light randomly pulsing. But Asgard didn't seem to be having any effects at all. Odin had a long time to prepare. No change I noticed in Helheim or Muspelheim either. Now that I think of it. The more primordial realms might be less susceptible. How do you suppose Jotunheim is faring? Uh, how would I know? Just training your powers of speculation. I don't know. If nobody's there to see, does it even matter? Come on, hit the chime and drop off your lean. <laughs> Why must you make me repeat myself? There he is, the man who tamed Garm. A thousand congratulations. Wise beyond its years, this one. You can see it in its eyes. All of the little ones are now safely settled in their new home. You have my gratitude. Might have done it sooner. You thought the dragon's offspring. Why? Ah, to alleviate my heart-rending loneliness, of course. Oh. That was... awfully forthcoming of you. I normally wouldn't be so candid, but it appears that Anxious Squirrel has learned a thing or two from you about... What was it? Not caring about how others perceive you? So I will permit you this one glimpse of my weakness. To require others is not a weakness. My goodness! I had not expected such emotional intelligence from one of your... girth. I do not care. Oh, well, this was a delightful conversation. Say, while I have you, any news on the stag front? So were you always a freakishly large immortal squirrel, or...? <laughs> Your stags forget. are returned. A completist, I approve. Incredible! The Nine Realms are no longer in horticultural danger. I cannot thank you enough. But perhaps this will suffice. Arrogant believes he has evaded punishment just because you fixed his blunder. He is sorely mistaken, of course. He will be in a remarkable amount of trouble. Once I figure out how to punish someone whose narcissism renders him invulnerable to all forms of emotional warfare. Anyhow, was there something else you wish to talk about? gets bigger the more you take away. Love! What kind of chub buffling relationships you been in here? That don't make any sense. Agreed. Oh, fun. I won't be lectured on the nature of a romance by the two of you duffers. Uh, yeah, it's bigger the more you take away. I Leader 
ship. Back in his broom closet again? Mm hmm. Seems to help him, I guess. Good fit. You envisioned us working together at a time it seemed impossible. It's a rare thing being able to imagine a better future. I'm glad you could. Enough. Look at that. <laughs> you really did it. How, in all the nine realms, did you manage to kill Heimdall? I knew our spear would do the trick. Well, happy Ragnarok, everybody. Let's drink. Is it true? Heimdall's dead. I can't believe it. There's no stopping it now. Odin swore peace only so long as you spilled no more Aesir blood. I refuse that deal. Yet he honored it. But now. But what? 
You and I know better than anyone that Odin's promises never last. We have the advantage now. It's time to bring him down. No. None of you understand what's coming. Odin's vengeance will be his only concern. Not his only concern. The mask. Whatever knowledge it unlocks, that's what Odin wants more than anything. If I go back to Asgard, go I can't. Use... Go back. Look. If I can finish what I started there, awaken the mask, get answers. Maybe that's our way out of this. But I gotta go soon. Before they figure out what's happened. Choice. You are home. Do not ask me to put you at risk again. He's at risk where he stands, Kratos. We all are. Anything we do or don't do is dangerous right now. But Odin needs me. He trusts me. I'll be safe there. From a tactical perspective. Am I wrong? I don't much like it, but it is our best play. Dividing Odin's focus would buy us time. And give us a pair of eyes in the enemy's inner sanctum. But if there is truly a source of infinite knowledge, you can't let Odin have it. Aye. And once he has what he needs from you, then I lose my leverage. I get it. I'll be smart. Father, I can do this. Remember our promise. You too. You know what you're doing. I do too, Sam. Well, I still want to hear how you did it. You mean how we did it? Ah, you got me. And therein lies a tale. Atreus, listen. I can't let you go back without this. A hammer? Your key, please. You ever need a way out of a bad situation? Throw this down hard and say, Wergi. One use only. Wergi. Thanks, Sindri. Hope I don't need it. Me too. All right. Odin said Hugin would be waiting in the cabin. Mimir, anything else I should know about Odin? Maybe a weakness or something? Like if I flip up his eye patch, he'll disintegrate. 
Hi, lad. Wouldn't that be? Yeah, no. Sorry, Mimir. I can't do your accent. I'm on my own for this one. Ben? Huh? You made it back! <laughs> hey. This is your wool? Ah! Stop doing that. <laughs> oh, were you having a moment? It sort of looked like you were having a moment. I can go. No. Sorry. This is Fenrir. <laughs> it's okay, Ben. She's, uh. <laughs> <laughs> I was right about your knife. Huh? I'm glad you found a place for his soul. <laughs> me too. Hey, uh, how'd you find me here? Loki? This is my marble. <laughs> and where are you heading off to? Back to Asgard. Hey, I'm actually using him. Uh-huh. Angerboda, look. Once I see this through, I'm gonna know everything. How to save my father, how to stop Ragnarok, and maybe, hopefully, how to bring our people back. Loki, those are all very noble. Intentions, but he's Odin. You have faith in me, right? Of course I do. I just hope the story you're writing for yourself is the one that you truly want. Would you, would you take care of Fen while I'm away? I'll take good care of him. Oh, night boy. <laughs> Be careful, Loki. Okay. Right. I just gotta help Odin complete the mask, but also make sure he doesn't get any answers from it. Easy, right? He's probably in a study.
Hmm. Nicely equipped. What needs work? Hey, uh, sorry for interrupting. Oh, you're not interrupting anything. Forsetti's investigating, so the truth will come out soon enough. I hope it does. You'd better go. Okay. Panic does nothing. Harness it. Heimdall's dead. Happen to know something about that? Anything? Well, I mean, everyone hated him. Sure, sure. But have you seen anything? Something noteworthy? I mean, you know, he did sock through it pretty hard while we were out. Maybe someone found out? Got even? I, I don't know. Are you suggesting my son had something to do with this? I don't know. Honest. Well, I have to ask. Never believed you had anything to do with this. I'm glad you're back. So, I figured out what went wrong. I mistranslated a word here. Did you now? I thought it said beyond the cry of cold breath, but it actually reads the cry of first breath. Well, that's somewhere else entirely. I know where that is. Young man, you've done it again. Go. Take the mask, take the sword, take the bird. Find Thor. I'm going to Niflheim. Hey, Ingrid, you wouldn't happen to know where Thor is. Yeah, I figured. Hush. Through? Sorry, um, all father said I'm supposed to head to Niflheim with your dad. I haven't seen him around, and I was... Wondering if you had any idea where he could be. He wasn't with Grandfather? No. I think I know where he might be. Follow me. I, uh... Also wanted to talk to you about Heimdall. Don't. Not here. You're right. Later. Back in Helheim, I told you I'd help your mom understand how much becoming a Valkyrie meant to you. I wanted to, uh, let you know that I meant it. You didn't. And you're still alive? I haven't yet, but I will, as soon as I come back. <laughs> There'll be plenty of time to get under her skin later. Thanks, Loki. Weapons aren't allowed inside. We'll have to check them. Why? Just do it. Come on. This way. Oh. Huh. Come on. They're not gonna let you in otherwise. Look around. He'll be here. Handy <laughs> 
Seems like it might be a bad time, so... If you need a moment, I totally understand. No rush, but... Uh... Right where I thought you'd be. What are you doing here? You shouldn't be here. You... You shouldn't have brought her here. What are you doing? Relaxing. Did I say no rush? I meant we should get going, right? We don't want to keep the all father quiet. He's right. You should get going. <laughs> Dad. Don't do this. It's already done. Let it be known, the God of Thunder is good for two things. Killing giants and pissing me! Any man who disagrees will greet Mjolnir with his face. This isn't you. Uh, Thor. <clears throat> Hugin is waiting outside. Please, let's just... I said, quiet, boy. My name is... Uh, uh, what? No, I... Oh, come on. No, 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 I swear that really wasn't... Uh, Oh, how I missed this! And he's still not. Oh! 
be mad I'm killing Enriar? They're already dead. They can't really die again. Grab his arms. Let's get him out of here. It's a good fight. I'm sorry you had to see him like this. No, no, it's fine. Really. Hey, I'm strong, but you gotta help me out here. Come on, it's not that far. Get up. Uh, you are going to Niflheim with Loki. All father's orders. You have to get up. I know you're disappointed. Disappointed? No, 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 no. That was a glorious fight. You can't even say you're sorry this time, can you? Because what's one more broken promise? <sighs> Grandfather treated you like crap. You were struggling. I get it. But you can't just... We're here for you. Mom and I are here for you. Even when you're here. We love you. You know that. I just thought this was behind us. I fucked up. Get you a water or something?
Let's make this quick. You in a hurry to get back to Asgard? Just get us to that mask piece. I wish you could smell these. Well, this isn't the way. This ain't a treasure. This part of Niflheim is way different than the maze I saw a few winters ago. If you came through Tyr's temple, then yeah. The mist around Ivaldi's workshop is straight up pulp. Was it worth it? I don't know what you're talking about. Fine. But I hope you know what seeing you like that did to me. I'm drunk, not blind. Don't bother getting up. Why can't we just fly over these guys straight to the mat? You think I want to carry you all that way? You're strong! I'm not your pack horse. <laughs> up to you. I hope you know that. Don't need a lecture about parenting from you. Just find me. <laughs> Looks like we gotta head through that wall. Something wanna... I need to do first. Thank you, Tom. Now we can go. Loki, you really keep trying. Have giant son of a powerful god with impossibly high expectations. How could I ever know what that's like? 